Oh, what a perfect Sunday morning. Nice and quiet. Picked up a new game over the weekend. And since I finally got all my chores done, I can sit down and play it. So, pop this bad boy in and get her installed and away we go. Oh, where's my controller? I left it down here. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Whatever happened to the days you could just play it off the disc without installing this crap? Okay, let's see if we can delete some stuff here. Let's go up to settings. Storage. This is free space, 84.4 gig, 84 gigs. How many do I need? 105. All right, well, let's delete some stuff here. Applications. Resident Evil 7, that stays. Dying Light, that stays. Even though it kind of sucks. Grand Theft Auto, that definitely stays. World War II. Even though it was a disappointment, that stays. Uncharted 4, that stays. That's a given. That's also staying. Netflix. I use the computer for Netflix, but it's only a gig, so there's no point. Okay, well, doesn't look like I can get rid of any applications, so I guess we're moving on to Plan B. Okay, well, since I want to keep all my other games on here, because I do play them once in a while, we're going to go ahead and add an extra hard drive to it. Now, since I have lots of hard drives laying around, I don't really need to go out and buy another one for this PS4. Um, but when you do, it's pretty much just a normal hard drive like this but it's in an enclosure we'll just put that there for now I gotta get the adapter to actually plug it into the PS4 now this this is actually part of an older uh, external hard drive that crashed so I took the casing all apart now I don't know what I did with the rest of it but we could still take this and then plug this into the end of it just like that now you won't need to do any of this stuff because if because when you go out and pick up an external hard drive, it'll all, it'll all be in the enclosure. So just picture a box around this thing just like that. But anyways, plug your adapter in to the back of the hard drive. We'll just put that there for now. And we'll go ahead, plug the USB right into the front of the PS4 there. Mine's the first gen, so you might have multiple... Uh, USB ports on the back. Mine just has the two on the front. And if you're using a external hard drive like my style, you also have a wall plug. Get out of the way, cat. Wall plug like that just plugs into the wall. Now, if you're using a portable hard drive, you won't have this. But, anyways, let's just go ahead and plug her into the back. Okay, it's making some noise, so it's being read. You can install applications using your SDV USB storage device. That's a good sign. USB storage device file system unsupported. Okay, well, let's see if we can do something about that. Let's go back to storage for a second. Settings, devices, USB storage device. Okay. There we go. That's the one we want. Format as extended storage. Now install applications and extended storage. Next. Format device. Device will be formatted as extended storage. Yes. This device has been formatted as extended storage. Perfect. Okay, it looks like we're good to go, people. So let's go ahead and go back. Now let's shuffle some files around, go to storage, system storage, applications, let's go ahead and we'll move, I don't play this one too much, so let's go ahead, select this one, move to extended storage. Go 
quick move. The application. We move to extend the storage. Okay. And we'll let it do its thing and we'll check back afterwards. Perfect. Dying Light is now in our extended storage drive. So now we are ready to go ahead and install our new game. Okay, now before we do that, we got to reselect our system storage because now by default, as you can see, this is now our install location for the rest of our game. So, but I want to keep the new one on the system storage for obvious reasons. I mean, I don't like using that makeshift hard drive. It's good for the time being, but I'm going to get a proper external one later, so Go back up to system storage, press options, application install location, choose system storage. Okay, perfect. Now we can go back and install our game. Calculating, calculating, calculating. Oh, we're starting to make some noise there, so. Alright, perfect. So we'll let this thing, let this game do its thing for about an hour. And we should be good to go. Play some Red Dead. Well, YouTube, I know it's a little unorthodox. But, I'm sure you get the, get the idea. You know, if you're like me, you like to hoard junk like computer parts and cables and whatever else, so. cheap I thought I'd just rig up my own little external hard drive system I mean why not right you've got the parts laying around for it but maybe one day like I said before I'll get a proper external one because that one I don't know just being all loose like that doesn't really bode well with me but like I said I put the game over that I play the least even though I did play it last week but that was like the first time in a year so but anyways, I'm starting to ramble now, but hopefully you all found this video helpful, and as always, I'll catch you later.